Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 7th of 2023. Well, it is titled the double cluster in Perseus. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the double cluster, and it's actually two open star clusters known as H and Chi Persei, and sometimes also known as up on top NGC 869 and down below NGC 884 by their catalog designations. These are two young open star clusters, and they have stars that are much, much younger than our sun, much hotter and much brighter. Now, while of course they look fainter than our sun, that's only because they are 7,000 light years away. If one of these stars were placed at the location of the sun in our solar system, life would not be possible on Earth. There'd be far too much energy and the surface of Earth would be far too hot to be able to support any kind of life. Now the young star clusters we know that they're young because they have stars that don't live for a very long period of time. And in fact they are estimated to be about 13 million years old. Now we look at the stars that are there and we can get an estimate based on the types of stars as to how long they live. So some stars will live for a very long time, but others will not live so long and others uh, depending on the timing of how big the star is. So if we know we find stars here that only live for say 15 million years, then you would need then we'd know that the cluster has to be under 15 million light years. Under, sorry, under 15 million years old. So it's a way we can figure out ages of the clusters is by looking at the stars that are within them. And that is able to help you in terms of identifying the stars. Now we also see a lot of red glow around here. The red glow would be due to hydrogen gas. So this is part of a star forming region. The older portion is where we see the clusters. The younger portion would still have hydrogen gas that is being excited by other hot stars that are forming and being caused to glow. So the younger clusters have had time to actually move that out and remove that from the uh, cluster. The others would not the other sections are still have some of that gas left behind and more stars and more clusters are still forming in this region region. So this is a prominent star forming region in the constellation of Perseus and something you can very easily see through a pair of binoculars. And if you have a very dark location, you can even see it with the naked eye. So that was our picture of the day for July 7th of 2023. It was titled the double cluster in Perseus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.